Hello and welcome to the revival of Busting the Backlog, the series where I use the promise of YouTube content in a futile attempt to make a dent in my ever-expanding backlog. Today we're looking at Linelith, a 2D puzzle game by indie developer Patrick Trainer. Fair warning though, this game is very minimalistic in how it communicates to the player and there are no explicit instructions whatsoever. In order to actually do this video, I'm going to have to explain the gist of how the puzzles work. If you value the truly blind experience, I'd suggest picking up the game for yourself. It's only 3 bucks on Steam, and though it's a very short game, I'd say it's worth it, even if you're not usually a huge puzzle gamer. Also, the video footage itself will necessarily contain solutions to some of the puzzles, so you may want to go audio only on this one, though I'll do my best to only showcase the early puzzles. Also, because I'm a slave to the YouTube algorithm, please do consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons if you think I'm doing a good job, because it genuinely helps me out. And also check out the main channel for video essays and weep shit, or Patreon if you're feeling particularly generous. Alright, enough of that. Linelith is one of those games that likes to play around with your expectations and preconceived notions, where the mental challenge is not always in the puzzles themselves, but in how you view the game world and even finding some of the puzzles in the first place. Notably, the game doesn't even explain how the puzzles work, leaving you to figure it out. Throughout the world, you'll come across these collections of blocks, and the goal is to use your mouse to draw a line connecting two dead ends together. A dead end is a block that can only be accessed from one direction. So if you take a look at this yellow structure here, these two blocks are the dead ends. Most of these puzzles will also have clusters of one to four little white dots sitting in the intersections of blocks. These indicate how many of the surrounding blocks your line must touch in order to complete the puzzle. No more, no less. Once you've tagged all the white dots and connected two dead ends all in a single, non-overlapping line, that block structure will fill out and the little progress bar at the bottom left will increase. The goal is simple, traverse the area, completing puzzles as you go. Though there is a semi-linear path to follow that'll facilitate a reasonable difficulty curve from brain dead easy to pretty challenging, you're actually given pretty much total freedom as far as which puzzles to tackle and when. You can do what you want when you want, which is something I really appreciate. I'm not usually a big puzzle gamer, and one of the reasons so many of these games tend to lose me is because even if I'm really enjoying the mechanics, there's always at least one puzzle that'll seriously stump me for a while. And if I'm stuck in one area with my progress gated by a single puzzle that's just not clicking with me, that can very quickly drain me of any desire to keep playing the game. So when it comes to puzzlers, I'll often end up dropping them around halfway through, no matter how good they are. Now granted, Linelith is a very short game, like you could 100% it and still qualify for a refund short. Don't do that by the way, total dick move. But even though Linelith is short to the point that frustration and burnout aren't going to be factors regardless, I feel like I would easily be able to handle a longer version of the game. Whenever I encountered a puzzle that stumped me, which was not too often because the difficulty never gets too crazy, I could just move on to the next one and I never felt that frustration I often get with other puzzle games. And another thing Linelith does very well is make you think outside the box. I'm going to be deliberately vague here to avoid spoiling any of the really neat mechanics you'll come across, but many puzzles are presented in a way that challenges your perspective on the game world itself. There are instances where the position of the player icon will affect your ability to complete certain puzzles beyond just visibility. And once you get to what's more or less the other end of the map, there's one puzzle which just by existing teaches you an intrinsic mechanic of the game that'll blow your fucking mind if you haven't figured it out for yourself. I had not figured it out at that point, and this one puzzle made me completely rethink every step I had taken up to that point. I really wish I could be more specific, but I feel like this moment is one I just can't spoil. But after that point, I basically went through the entire map again with this new perspective. I found hidden puzzles, figured out a few puzzles that I wasn't open-minded enough to figure out before, and even managed to figure out a couple of new, really cool mechanics and ways to attack the various puzzles. But Linelith not only has interesting and fun puzzles, it's also one of the best instances I've personally seen of minimalistic tutorialization. I know that's a lot of syllables, but remember what I said earlier in the video. There are only really two instruction prompts in the game. One to tell you how to move, and one to tell you how to click on the puzzles. The rest of the game is taught to you entirely via the environment and from your own experimentation. And this is a fairly unique style of puzzle, not something you're likely to have encountered before. And that's not even mentioning the various hidden game mechanics you'll come across, some of which are very clever. For that to be effectively communicated without any kind of actual tutorial is genuinely impressive and it's something I feel like more people should appreciate. There's a real art to teaching people how to play your game without them wanting to give themselves an ice pick lobotomy. Linelith does it better than the vast majority of games I've played. Linelith is a game I wholeheartedly recommend. It's only $3 at full price, a great way to kill an hour or so, and an example of a genuinely amazing piece of game design. Go play it. And with that, the backlog shrinks ever so slightly. Thanks for watching. Big thank you to my patrons, especially my god tier supporters Bulk Squat Thrust, Drago, and Mike Rotolo. 
Also, thank you to Raccoons for gifting me the game in the first place. If you'd like to join the patrons and get early access to content on both my channels, consider checking out Patreon linked below. Don't forget to subscribe to the main channel if you haven't already for my more in-depth content, follow me on Twitter at AdsTweets for my thoughts on stuff, and join the Discord server for some good times. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Play the Electro Swing. Come back.